Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a written letter from the President of the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, Abdul Aziz Bouteflika, regarding the broadly relations between the two countries and the latest regional and international developments, as well as issues of common interest. The Algerian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Abdul Qadir Misahil, handed the letter to His Majesty in a reception ceremony held at the Safriya Palace today. The Minister conveyed the greetings of the Algerian President and his wishes of progress progress and prosperity to the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people. In return, His Majesty the King asked the Minister to convey his greetings to the Algerian President and his wishes of development and progress to Algeria and its people. His Majesty the King welcomed the Algerian Foreign Minister, affirming the depth of the Bahraini-Algerian relations and the development they witness in various fields. His Majesty also noted the keenness on to strengthen these relations and develop them for the benefit of both countries and people. People. His Majesty affirmed the importance of exchanging such visits for their role in strengthening cooperation and consultation between the two countries. His Majesty the King hailed the role of Algeria, led by its President Abdelaziz Bouteflika, in defending the Arab nation's issues and its keenness to promote solidarity and solidarity. His Majesty the Minister also discussed the latest regional and international developments. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the United States Special Envoy, retired General Anthony Zinni, and Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Arabian Gulf Affairs in the Near East Bureau, Timothy Landerkin, and their accompanying delegation on the occasion of their visit to the Kingdom as part of their tour to a number of the region's states. His Majesty reviewed with the American envoys the historic fraternal relations between Bahrain and the U.S., as well as means of bolstering these relations. He expressed pride in the bilateral cooperation between the two friendly countries and discussed with the envoys the latest regional and international developments as well as issues of common concern. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held his weekly majlis today at Trofa Palace. Members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives, members of municipal councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors at the weekly majlis, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty the King's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahrain society. The Majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the Majlis and emphasized the important role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for the Disabled, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Al Wadi Palace the children of Mutlaq Al Mutawa who presented His Highness with a painting depicting the kingdom's support to people with disabilities. Sheikh Khalid expressed his admiration of the artwork which was created using the recycled caps of soft drink cans and mineral 
several water bottles. His Highness praised the efforts and creativity of the people of Bahrain, which reflect their abilities and talents. Sheikh Khalid wished the people of the kingdom further progress and success in serving their country. For his part, Al Mbawa expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Khalid, affirming that Bahrain has taken many steps to support people with disabilities. He also hailed the efforts of Sheikh Khalid in this field to help empower and develop the skills of people with disabilities. Hassam Mutlaq Al Mbawa, who is uh, taking part in the Royal Navy's summer program, delivered a speech on behalf of his siblings, where he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness. He said the idea of their artwork is stemmed from their love to the kingdom and the leadership and to showcase their support to their brothers and sisters with disabilities. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, met today at his office the United States Special Envoy, retired General Anthony Zinni, a Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Arabian Gulf Affairs in the Near East Bureau, Timothy Lenderkin, and their accompanying delegation on the occasion of their visit to the Kingdom as part of their tour to a number of the region's states to discuss the Qatari crisis. Sheikh Khalid welcomed the American envoys, expressing pride in their visit to the Kingdom, which reflects the strategic alliance and the development of historic relations between the two countries in all fields. The visit also affirms the keenness of the two countries to further continue joint coordination on various issues. The Minister of Foreign Affairs praised the cooperation between the Gulf states and the U.S., as well as the United States' efforts to combat terrorism and maintain regional safety and security. He reiterated the Kingdom's support to the U.S. The U.S. offers efforts based on its commitment to all the people of the region and to confront the dangers that threatens its present and future, at the forefront of which is terrorism, which calls for a strong and concerted effort to ensure its eradication. For his part, retired General Zinni expressed pleasure for meeting with the minister. He also hailed the strong friendship between the U.S. and Bahrain and affirmed the importance of cooperation and joint action to maintain the region's security. Zinni praised the efforts of the kingdom to contribute to this goal, which would contribute to maintaining international peace and security. Labour and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan opened today a new employment and training centre in Jafar. The move is in line with the directives of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to identify the needs of the citizens across the kingdom's villages and towns and meet them. The opening of the new facility is within the framework of the government's interest in delivering the best services for job seekers. The intake capacity of the new centre is 1,500 visitors per month and will deliver comprehensive services in the fields of employment, rehabilitation, professional guidance and counselling, as well as insurance against unemployment. It also provides consultations for job seekers as well as training opportunities for them in coordination with the Labour Fund, Temkin. The Civil Aviation Affairs at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications in its statement affirmed that what has been published about Bahrain opening its air airspace to Qatar Airways is incorrect and contrary to reality. It said that the kingdom's airspace restricts aircrafts registered in Qatar and that all air passages overseas are open to all types of air navigation from June the 11th and has not undergone any change. The statement also 
also said that the Civil Aviation Affairs has implemented all actions taken in cooperation and coordination with the International Civil Aviation Organization, the ICAO in Cairo, in order to enhance air safety over international waters, which includes providing additional emergency lanes above sea in Bahrain's region, which is a procedure taken by the Kingdom to ensure the safety of air traffic over international waters that was commissioned by the ICAO and does not mean that Bahrain has allowed the passage of Qatari carriers above its sovereign airspace. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah. And let's start with the local stocks as Bahrain Oshir Index has closed at 1,323.54 points, marking a decrease of 0 0.20 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the investment sector and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 34.49% of total shares. 51 transactions included 923,937 shares worth 255,966 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 